into the my god of angel army my god of angel army and flip it to hip hop if you're not into that then you're not going to see it the way that I see it but if you like that type of stuff which in some respects I do then yeah you're going to really vibe with it because it's a lot of that it's just too like like okay so then we go back to 2017 which today we rebel which fire to me but that's great album it's like the he makes seasonal albums for me they don't stand the test of time like Mm, they're just straight hitters and i don't i don't like albums that are super aggressive like that where and it's not that he's it's just his it's it's like his rapping style almost like in his beat selections they're just super um like aggressive it's not like trap or like it's just it's just a interesting take but i don't think that style of albums last over time for me like flame none of his albums stand they don't stand the test of time for me because they're just they're just that way. And so That's a good I don't point. know. KB KB is I, he doesn't he would crack my top 10. He would But let, let but my here's my issue with the, here's the my issue with that point. And this is why I push back. We're not talking about top 5 of all time. We're talking about top 5 currently. And so if you currently <laughs> That's that was my issue with D1 because I feel like currently <laughs> He's getting a lot of credit for the past, but if you just go off for of the Murs album collab with Murs or like just the uh, God and Girls, I don't know that he, I ain't trying to come at my man's, but I don't know if he's been as relevant as he think he has been as far as like the CHH space making relevant music and, and in general. And that's one of the that's one of the things that like took him off because he's he's probably in my if I'm doing currently, he might be in my top fifteen currently. And yeah, that's being generous, but if we talking currently, 18? man, it's, it's a lot of rappers, man. I, it, I was looking at a list of like where artists in the space stand as far as streaming, and like, man, it was like a hundred artists. I'm like, I didn't even realize I knew this many artists in the space. But mm-hmm. I'm a, a real quick because we got a we got a couple more topics to talk about. I want to go into an artist, my um dark horse artist that I almost threw in my top five. Paris Careers was my dark horse because he, as far as like just making songs that just bang and just uh, one of the top projects of 2020, Paris Careers definitely was in that conversation along with like Ishan Burgundy. Um, it was a lot of people. One day it was in consideration because she just drops nothing but fire. And like I wanted some fe- uh, w- women representation in my top five. But so she's like right there on the cusp as well. <laughs> right. So probably I anticipate in 2021 she would be in my top five. But that's just out of respect for her grind. Jackie Hill Perry used to be in my top five, but since we're talking currently, yes, she hasn't put out much. I don't even know if she's even planning on rapping. But yeah, those those are some of my dark horse artists. Though is Paris Careers and One Day. Good selections. Um, you're right about Jackie, man. If Jackie came back, she would easily come back and slaughter. Easily, but I, you know, I watch, I follow her on Instagram. She's having little babies here and there, so bless <laughs> her, bless her and Preston. Children are blessed. Uh, good people. Oh yeah, follow those people on YouTube, Instagram, all of that. They cool. I like them. But uh, Dark Horse, I may not agree with everything he does, but man, when it comes to music, that's a whole different story. Benjamin Broadway, have you ever listened to his music? Oh no, I haven't heard him. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So like you, so I've heard of him. I don't know where it might be from you, to be honest. But yeah, that's a dark horse, dark horse, man. You gotta come. He's you in the dark me, completely. Hey, shout out to uh, shout out to Benjamin, man. But you gotta give me some. You, you <laughs> I need something more. He tangible. makes. He calls himself the trap. Uh, the trap gospel artist or something like. He be like trap the trap gospel. artist. You know, he's all about that. He's super hard, super tough, super street like. <laughs> um, and that's why I say, like, I may not agree with like his current lifestyle now, but I think he's fighting. I think he's striving. And um, just when it comes to music, though, man, that okay. he doesn't cuss in his stuff either. Like he is a Christian artist, but just, you know, eh, he's had some questionable lyrics like <laughs> and I listen to his music faithfully so I could talk to this. He got one lyric on there that talks about. Uh, but last night I was up in the club. I w- I'm with the killers and trappers. I'm with the gangsters and thugs. It's like, all right, yeah, 
I get it, man. You the Christian out your whole clique. I get that part. But it's like, uh, eventually God going to surround you around some people that's, you know, living that life life. So, but man, check out his stuff, dude. I don't know to. his numbers. I don't, I, I think he, I think when he first came out, he, I, I don't know. He talks about it in songs. Like he used to come at the, like the major, you know, media producer uh, pushers of Christian music and I think they like didn't do them the right way. They even may have like some of them may have banned him. I don't know. He got a whole little story, but That's I don't think he Christian gets the publicity. <laughs> they Rapzilla slighted way, me, huh? man. I felt that way, and it wasn't even true. I'm like, man, Rapzilla ain't showing no love. I'm like, no, nah, I'm just not that good yet. <laughs> <laughs> we all done went through that phase, man. Well, I, what you do, you like to compare. Yeah, exactly. You I compare yourself that. to who they're pushing out there. Yeah, and, and you can't do that, man. And, like, even and, yeah, oh, Andy Minio. Now nah, you straight, man. Andy Minio put it the best way, man. Far too often, rap is a competitive sport, man. And so, like, when you feel like, oh man, I can make, I make better music than so and so, and y'all pushing him, you might as well push my music if you're gonna push this, but. That's just how competitive it is. And that's how, like, lacking of self-awareness we are. So, like, we be like, man, you pushing this garbage. My stuff better than this. And sometimes it, that ain't true. It's like, sometimes our junk don't be better than what we think it is. We just really overly confident. It's just like basketball players. They super confident. They think, you know, Jimmy Butler get on the, on the court. He think he the best on the court, even when LeBron on the court. It's just that arrogance and that You would confidence. say Jimmy Butler, man. You know I don't <laughs> like that, man. Hey, shout out I to like Jimmy him, Butler. I like him, but I don't. <laughs> hey, oh man you got anything jimmy butler man whatever you got anything else to add on this topic uh anybody anybody else i i think my list is solid your list i i, I didn't mess with john keith for personal reasons i think some of his uh visuals sort of threw me off a bit um really? like the dyed the blonde hair actually I was just watching him. I think it was through Beliefs YouTube. He was doing some short film, which oh, I, I think the dude can act. Low key. Oh yeah, he can act. I yeah, seen like ten minutes so. of it. Then, yeah, I don't know what was happening. Courtney was like, "What is this?" I'm <laughs> like, I, "I don't know." I just turned on YouTube and started watching. Oh yeah, you but gotta finish. That. I think I need to listen to more of his stuff. I think mm -hmm. uh, the visuals turn me off. But as far as music, I, I, I can't. I can't even really come at at the dude because. I ain't heard his stuff. I mean, so yeah. I recently seen some stuff with him leaving, you know, King's Dream or whatever. I don't know the man. So there's still a lot of yeah. younger dudes that I got to un unravel, but I never heard his stuff. And then you had KB, you had Bizzle, you had No Big Deal. And then who was your fifth? Um, uh, did you say you Andy? Had, uh, I got Andy in there too. Oh, Andy. Andy's the legend. There's That's no way legend. you can. I mean, he's like the Kobe. He's like the Kobe of, uh, he, uh, should I say Kobe? Is that too much credit? He's the Jimmy Butler. Nah, 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 nah. man, that's dirty. <laughs> nah, he, he got Kobe's rings. He got rings bad. to his name. So he's the, I like, huh? Kobe. I like Kobe. I like the Kobe. I like the Kobe analogy. But my problem is that I like he's the Kobe the John analogy. Stockton. How about that? John Stockton, why? Because he's white. <laughs> that's <laughs> hilarious. Cause he good for getting features and stuff. He's Andy puts know. together he, good music, I man. I love Andy. I just wanted to make sure I pay him respect. I, that's good. That's good. That's good. Cause he is he is consistent. I don't know if his music is consistent with my taste, but he is consistent for sure. That makes sense. 